Hey, welcome back. This is DeBose Wave Music AWRCCH um, model repair. Uh, day two. Uh, yesterday was the unboxing, and today I'm trying to um, to affix uh, with some glue the parts that are broke. The main part is uh, there's a couple of these tabs which hold this down, hold this in place. It's broken off. Now I've already fixed the easiest one, which is right here. This ring right here was cracked, and uh, this, the plastic, the actual base was out, so cracked. So I got that glued, and this ring, which was cracked off, put back in place, and it fits somewhat perfectly. Um, thinking there might be a, a little. A little bit of an edge. No, it's good. Sticking quite well. So, um, where we are now, if I can flip this back over, um, the CD player is skipping, uh, doing a lot of chattering when you first plug it in. Like chatter, chatter, chatter. Very little audio. And according as the CD continues to play or try to play, it. Um, starts to play more audio and less chatter to a point to about I'm not exactly sure how long maybe I'm gonna guess 20 minutes uh, maybe maybe less than that the CD actually plays um, what appears to be flawlessly we're going to listen to a little bit of uh, Bob Seeger here now hear the chattering here now according as I According as I um, let the CD play, it there's more music, less chatter. So that tells me that the um, the CD player components um, need to get warmed up, and once they're warmed up, they're okay. But they must be auto tolerant. So there's a way I can adjust the actual voltage, I believe, to the CD player, which I may try today. Just turn that little trim pot there in the CD player unit itself to increase the amount of voltage getting to it so that might rectify this so uh, in order to do that I need to keep the CD player in a in a non-functioning mode in cold mode basically and do a slight tweak of that little trim pot in there and and then put it, reassemble it put the CD in and if the CD plays well then I know that um, I just cheated uh, the CD player so it can read properly and it, but that also tells me that uh, the components are you know definitely in need of uh, replacement so we're going to go ahead now and uh, finish trying to uh, put these little tabs in their prospective places so that the unit can be um, screwed down properly the top to the bottom okay I've let the uh, CD player cool on again while I was working on the uh, this top, top this top part of the radio as you can see I have this one re-glued this one here has been re-glued this one was good this one has been re-glued right here there's a, a small little piece I just found here inside the radio one more piece that I neglected to find which goes right here on the in here somewhere I'll see if I can tuck it in there now and this last one over here is in good shape so we had one two good ones this one was cracked I had to glue it didn't look like it was cracked but it was just ready to pull off so I paired this one so there's only two that's, that was actually going to be holding this top case and as you can see the uh, CD player is still clicking away but after about five ten minutes it'll clear up I'll be back in about five or ten minutes where you'll see right a time on the clock here so as it stands, it takes about uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, I came back and I noticed that the uh, CD was playing well. So if you have this sort of issue and you want to use your CD player, you just have to toss in a CD and warm up the CD components for it to work. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to disassemble this again and go right into the CD player and see if I can find that little trim pot 
and turn it clockwise to put a little bit more voltage into the um, CD player. I think that's what uh, actually happens when you do that. And by then this unit will be cooled down again. And if it works, once I put in a CD, uh, it'll start playing right away. Or it'll start chattering uh, once it's cooled off until it warms up and then start playing again. So I'm going to give that just a small little turn to the right, that small little trim pot to uh, increase the voltage and see if that takes care of the CD player for now. I realize that I do have to replace those components to a surface mount, so I'm going to take my time and do some more investigating on that. So here we go, adjusting the CD player. Just in case anybody's wondering what little trim pot I'm turning clockwise, it's right here. Right where the screwdriver is pointing. And you'll need a small screwdriver, of course. Turn a little bit clockwise, just maybe three or four degrees to the right. And we're going to reassemble now and see if that takes care of the skipping. I've made the adjustment on the CD player and uh, it has not made the CD player uh, play any better. And I'm not going to make no more adjustments, but I will watch to see if it, uh, the CD player does decide to play properly quicker than what it did. Perhaps I need to turn that trim pot a bit higher, but I'm sort of worried about doing that right now. <laughs> 